Is everyone ready? Let's get ready for chemistry! There are many types of reactions, but there's only five that I really want you to be familiar with. The first that we're going to talk about is synthesis. Also called by some as combination, what we're doing here is we're taking two things and we're combining them into one thing. The hallmark of a synthesis reaction is you have more things on the left than you have on the right. You don't have to just have one product, but you need to have more reactants than you have products. That makes it a synthesis reaction. If you look, what would these be if they were ions? Hydrogen, as an ion, has a plus one charge. Oxygen, as an ion, has a minus two charge. So for synthesis, these would get together. The H would get together with the O to make H2O. So we've taken the two separate ions and we've put them together into H2O. The second reaction I want you to be familiar with is a decomposition reaction. A decomposition reaction is the opposite of a synthesis reaction. In a synthesis reaction, we had two reactants and one product. In this decomposition reaction, we have one reactant and two products. So if we have more products than we had reactants, that's decomposition. Decomposition is one thing breaking down into many things. So we have the cation here, silver, breaking down into silver. Silver is not diatomic, so there's only one silver. Oxygen is breaking down and being by itself. Oxygen is diatomic, so there's a two there which makes this a little confusing because there's a two here, but there's no two there. There's no two here, but there is a two there. The decision is, silver is by itself, is it diatomic? No. Oxygen is by itself, is it diatomic? Yes. This subscript comes from the need to balance the charges. So each subscript must be looked at individually, separated by the symbols. So a decomposition reaction, something breaking down into many other things. The third type of reaction I want you to be familiar with is a single replacement reaction. A single replacement reaction has three things. There's the potassium, the magnesium, and the bromide. One, two, three. This is MgBr2. Because we need two bromides in order to cancel out the one magnesium. Bromide has a negative one charge. Potassium has a plus one charge. KBr then is formed because these atoms are going to rearrange themselves. Right now, this cation is with that anion. If I tried to put this guy with that guy, you'd be trying to put two cations together and like charges repel. If you try to put this guy together with this guy, you would have the same thing that you started with. So the cation gets together with the anion. That's where KBr comes from. Now it's KBr because potassium is plus one and bromide is minus one. So they come together with a one to one ratio. That leaves magnesium by itself. When magnesium is by itself, it's not diatomic, so there's only one magnesium. You can spot a single replacement reaction because there's three things. This one looks pretty complicated, but it's actually not. A double replacement reaction is one where you have four things. The sodium, the hydroxide, the ferric, the chloride. Four things. 
two cations, two anions. So in a single replacement reaction, the one we just saw, the two cations swapped places. We're going to do the same thing again. Now you can either swap the cations or you can swap the anions, doesn't matter. It's a double replacement reaction because on this side the sodium is with the hydroxide, but on this side the sodium is with the chloride. Here the iron is with the chloride. On the other side, the iron is now with the hydroxide. They've swapped ions. That's a double replacement reaction, and you can spot it if you're familiar with your ions. Four things. Double replacement. These are all examples of the same type of reaction. A combustion reaction is one where you have a hydrocarbon, a compound made of carbon, hydrogen, and maybe some oxygen. And then the rest of this is all the same. So a hydrocarbon, when it burns, the rest of the equation is all this. Plus oxygen makes carbon dioxide and water. Combustion of a hydrocarbon. So those are the five types of reactions I want you to be familiar with. If you need to go back through the video and take notes on it so that you've got it on paper, you can. This is going to help you when you try to predict what the rest of the equation is going to look like later on.